road she traveled. Honoring women who made a difference. A Kula Kids gift to our community. My life of being in charge. Barb Schultz, portrayed by Amy. How can I help other teachers like me? I'm a teacher fighting for my rights. But if there is one thing I could do to make teachers' dreams come true, is a higher salary. This is what I thought before I became president of La Crosse Education Association. Can I assist in everything that needs to be done in education? Will anything I do make a difference in La Crosse or even somewhere else? During my life, I've been a member of many different committees and held several different teaching positions. I knew since I was a little kid that I would be a, a teacher, and it happened. I wanted to begin helping out women teachers in the community because their salary and other women issues needed some attention. The teachers had a one-day strike. It all happened because they were not getting treated equally. Or you could say the men were more dominant than women. If women got treated fairly, the teachers would not have to fight for their rights. The strike was uh, the hardest experience as a teacher because I didn't like what was happening, and I felt like I could not complain about the problem without putting time and effort into it. So I guess that is when I had to step up and begin to change the community. It all began in 1971 when the mayor of La Crosse was running for re-election, and he would talk negatively about education. The horrible part was what he was saying won him more votes. It isn't that people didn't want money to go to education. I think they did, but they just didn't want taxes to go up. When the teachers were on strike, they were walking around the school with picket signs, trying to get the word out that women and men should be treated the same. At this time, a strike was against the law, so there were cops trying to stop the teachers. There was no way that anyone was giving up. It is hard going against the law, but we all knew that women's rights and education had to be improved. For the kids, there was a lot of confusion of why teachers were on strike. Without the action of having the strike, we would have not got very far, and that is when things started turning around. Being president of so many committees, it took a lot of time and hard work. But being on so many organizations was a way of giving back and a way of serving as a representative of teachers. It was very tiring for me doing so many jobs because I'd be up till 3 or 4 in the morning and I have to get up at 7 to go to work. At the time, I was a Spanish and English teacher at junior high, but also in charge of committees. I started to think that I didn't want to teach these classes for the rest of my career. I decided to become a guidance counselor because I felt that there were some issues that kids had that weren't being handled. For me to change from a teacher to a counselor, I had to go to Winona State for more classes in the evenings and summers. So now I was working hard nights at school, plus leading all the committees that I was in charge of in the day. I went on with my life after all the hard work, but if I did not do extra work, I would have done something that I didn't want to for the rest of my career. Through all the different committees, I cherished the one with teacher rights. I enjoyed this because I was able to help teachers with problems or concerns they had. I felt proud to help someone with their problems. The one I really didn't enjoy was negotiation, which was sitting trying to figure out a contract. I just didn't care for it because it was like a kind of game where both sides come and ask for the world, basically. I'm just not that kind of person. I like saying this is the bottom line and let's settle with it. I can remember when I received an award from regional association called Crew Cooley Region United Educators. I just remember it being a surprise that I was not expecting at all. After everything in my life, I am proud of what I have accomplished. It was all difficult work, but since I never gave up and believed in myself, I was able to do it. I enjoy where I am now as being a counselor and a member of a few committees because each day is different from the last. If I could change something now, it would be to see all students have an equal opportunity, no matter how much money they have, just to be treated the same. This podcast brought to you from La Crosse, Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.